Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Mini Brands unboxing. Today we have the Zuru Five Surprise Mini Brands Disney Store Edition Series 2. Here is the UPC for anybody who's trying to find these in stores. Take a screenshot. These are a continuation of our Disney Store Minis from Series 1. These cover all the things that Disney owns, pretty much. And I'm excited that they did a second series of these. Because I don't have all the Disney Princess dolls in their miniature form yet. So this is great for me. Gonna try to get these. So those of you worried if I'm going to stab myself with these nippers or with the scissors or the little sharpie things when I'm opening these surprise balls, I will, probably. <laughs> Don't worry about it too hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm a very quick clotter. But they're very fun. It adds a little risk to things, I think. What's life without a little risk, darling? what I live for. To help poor unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. All right, here we go. We got them. I do kind of wish these were in biodegradable balls, but they are in the classic five surprise, which is okay. But we are going to see what we got. We take off our little tabs and they open up like a little orange. So let's see what our first surprise is. Oh, our first surprise is Thanos. Now that's very cool. He's supposed to be a 12 inch figure. So very fun. He goes towards our Marvel pile. I'll set these up to see what our distribution winds up looking like as to what we get. Oh, here's another Marvel. We've got an Iron Man. Now, let me show you compared to the first series Iron Man that we got the gold version of. These are the same. So this is a continuation from series one. So you do have that chance to get series one in here. It says 50 to collect. Oh, here's Snow White. She's one of our new Disney princess dolls. That's exciting. So that goes in Disney pile. Um, so it says 60 to collect, but no telling. Oh, we also got Elena. I love Elena of Avalor. It's a very underrated Disney property. Well, and we got Lotso. He's Pixar. Kind of a creepy Disney villain. So let's take a look at which ones we can get with series two. So, our ultra rares are going to be a Golden Lotso, the uh, Child from the Mandalorian, known as Grogu, a little Golden BB-8, a little Golden Minnie Mouse car, and a little Golden Bucket. We've got some commons, so Lotso is common, and oh, we've even got Raya stuff in there, oh, and we can get a Raya doll. That's exciting. And some Spider-Man stuff. And we've got some more of the toy box figures, which are awesome. I have not actually collected any of those in real life, but I'm always thinking about it. And we've got Jasmine and Snow White over on this side, plus Tiana and Moana and Ariel. And Ariel apparently is a collector's case exclusive, which I didn't see the collector's case, which makes me a little sad because I want Ariel, um, but very cool. And I forgot to point out Tinkerbell because I thought that was our um, Snow White. I didn't pay enough attention on that one. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six of the classic dolls that we can get. 
So hopefully we've already got two. That's um, four more to go. So hopefully we will get some more. And again, a nice sort of even distribution. Um, we didn't get any Star Wars in that ball. A little depressing that we didn't get any Star Wars, but that's okay. Sometimes there's not a lot of Star Wars. Sometimes these distributions are just a little undistributed. They're like stockholder earnings that don't get redistributed. They're just like, yeah, no. <laughs> the CEO needs another needs another house. Uh, sorry to my international viewers who don't understand. Sometimes I ramble about American politics and code. Not even in code. That's pretty real. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so here is ball number two. These I open a lot faster than the... Uh, the fashion surprise balls, surprisingly. So we have got five right there. Let's see what's in this one. This is our big one. Oh, we got our little Elsa and Anna, our little frozen little mini suitcase. I wish this opened, but it's just a little hunk of plastic. Perfect for a Kelly size suitcase, though. But that's technically Disney. And uh, we got a Star Wars. We got a Stormtrooper helmet. So that's great. Okay. Here is our next one. Let's see. Did we get, a, get any of the classic dolls this time? Oh. We got a Lightning McQueen figure. Very cool. He's Pixar. Got what we got, eh? So we've got a little Minnie's kitchen. So this is Disney. And uh, oh, we've got the Woody water bottle. That's very cute. This is going to be perfect for our new Disney uh, I Love You Forever dolls because they are coming out. They're going to hit Target stores and they're already available on the Shop Disney app. Look for those dolls, they're awesome. I am going to order some. I was hoping to find some in my Target run today and I just, I didn't have any luck even though I do have a Disney store Target that's really close to me. But I am gonna do a full review of at least one doll from that series and one accessory pack and one um, fashion pack. I want to see how they go with all of our other doll brands. Oh, that one opened nice. Not a peel or nothing. Let's see. Where's the other one? This side. Woohoo. Are we gonna are we gonna have a hot streak? Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Bum bum bum. Okay, let's get our first one open. So we've got the Minnie in her car. Very cute. It's another just straight Disney property. Oh, there we go. Oh, is this our, is this our rare or ultra rare? Oh, snap. That is our ultra rare. Grogu. Very cute. That is a Star Wars property right there. That's awesome. Oh, we got our first repeat though. We've got another Lightning McQueen. That's okay. Come what may. Oh, we've got our Mandalorian blaster van braces. That's very cool go with our Grogu and then our last one from this ball is a little Ray Skywalker toy box so that kind of evened out our Star Wars pile now our Marvel pile is looking a little low that's okay we got a lot of Marvel in our uh, in our 
first series and not as much Star Wars. Not as smooth this time. Oh well. Such is life. You win some, you lose some. And sometimes you're Kevin McCarthy and you lose 13 in a row. <laughs> oh well. Big ones. We got Zerg. Emperor Zerg. Very cool. You can't really see him under there, though. There you go. We can get a, kind of get a little glimpse of him. We can go with our Buzz Light years that we had in the Series 1. Oh, we've got another Disney doll. It is a repeat of Elena, which is okay. But I do kind of wish we'd gotten Tinkerbell or Raya. Oh, but we did get Jasmine. That's exciting. Oh, here's another Marvel. Oh, it's a repeat of Iron Man. So we're at three repeats so far, everybody. Oh, four. We got another Minnie in her little car. It's very cute, though. And the nice thing about these being Disney Store is there are occasionally shelving units that are included in it, or you can get the actual Disney Store mini playset. I don't do that because it's not actually 1-6 scale. It's at like, not Shopkin scale, but it's it's done at a weird, a weird scaling for me. So, until I see those at like an awesome, awesome discount, I'm not going to mess with those, probably. I am going to do a little bit more budget shopping tomorrow and hopefully find some good deals tomorrow. But I will probably not pick up another one of these until I see the... Uh... Oh, here is our Spider-Verse car. That's very fun. Uh, until I find the collector's case for Series 2. I probably won't pick up more. Here is our little Mickey's Grill set, barbecue grill. Very fun to go with our mini play set. I do wish there was actually something inside of those boxes. We've got a little Sith Trooper Disney toy box. So that's Star Wars over here. And then, oh, we got another Snow White. And then our last one that we've got oh, is our Miguel guitar. Or is this Elena? No, this is Rapunzel. Neither, I mean, I guess he does play guitar in the movie, but I was hoping this was Miguel. But that's okay. That's Disney. Two other characters are more noted for their guitars than Rapunzel, but that's all right, Disney. So... These balls are 864. They are very cool. There are a lot to collect, as we saw. But unfortunately, we did get several repeats just in that first few pulls. I did see these starting to pop up at Target and Walmart. So they are going to be available for a good time to come. The Disney Store first series did a really good job. So we are probably going to see these in stores for a while. So don't feel like you need to rush out to get these. They're very cool, but they're largely the same thing as our series one. It's just different characters, slightly different things every once in a while. But we did get a couple of gems. I do love our little miniature Disney classic dolls. These are great. I love these. Um, we did get the very cool little Woody's water bottle for our Disney Bounder, Disney I Love You Forever dolls. And we got this really awesome Grogu, who's an ultra rare. 
So a pretty good haul, pretty evenly distributed between Disney, Star Wars, Pixar, and Marvel. So all in all, not bad. I enjoy these. I pick them up when I find them, but um, I will probably wait to get more of Series 1 and more of Series 2 until I find the collector's case and wait for Series 1 to go on more of a drastic price cut. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.